All right, y'all. So the um, two day, two day detox is done, and that was the juice detox that I did, where I had to drink a gallon of juice. Um, it had mostly grapefruit and citrus, like oranges and stuff like that, but it wasn't sweet. I had to drink one gallon each day, you know, with unlimited water and no food. Um, and the goal was, it says, you know, to get rid of the toxins in your body and to reset and give you more energy. And I was really looking for the reset more than um, pounds because I don't really... First of all, I, I don't get on a scale unless I'm weighing in for stuff like this, a challenge, or if my um, gym is doing a challenge that I weigh in. But normally, I don't even get on the scale. I just go by my clothes and how they fit and how I feel. If I feel like my clothes are getting a little snug, I work a little harder. I run a little longer. But this time, I thought, well, maybe let me try this because some people said it was, you know, doing wonders. Um, I do have energy today. I, I noticed that. I have a lot of energy. I have not eaten anything because that's the first thing my kids said. Oh, mommy, you're going now you can eat, mommy. I'm not I'm not even hungry right now. I mean, I'm going to eat because it's the right thing to do. But that's not how I start my day anyway. So my body's already used to starting a day with water and then working out and taking care of my yoga and my splits and stretching and then getting a shower getting my day started at work, and then, you know, maybe having something to eat for breakfast. Well, not maybe. I do. I don't skip breakfast. That's, that's one thing. I may eat late and if I'm fasting, of course, but I usually don't skip breakfast. So today I said, well, I'm back to my regularly scheduled programming of, you know, I can incorporate my real gallon that I love, which is just water. I dropped a couple of lemons in here. And, um, you know, let me grab my little water because I will tell you, when you get, you know, up in age and you get seasoned, like so many of us are, you know, fortunate and blessed to be. I'm 47. I'll be 48 in June. Um, you do, you have to do things different. Like you have to work harder, um, work smarter, and maximize the time, you know, you have to maximize, um, I wonder if that's too loud, I'm just pouring up, let me stop, because I just thought about that, <laughs> but you have to maximize um, your efforts with working out, it's limited, if, if you're like me, I'm a mom of boys, I have two kiddos, and and we're, we're constantly going, doing something, even if it's sheltering in place, we're still doing things in the house and stuff, so it's been... It's been interesting to um, this reset because I want to see, you know, the long term effects. I'm going to be very mindful about what I'm putting in my body. Uh, I bought these grapefruit, this ruby red grapefruit that I'm going to have. I uh, can't wait to have that. I probably will have three slices of this. You would think I'd be tired of grapefruit after having to drink a gallon of it. That was hard. Um, I can drink a gallon of water with no problem because I enjoy water so much. But... And a gallon of anything else? Mm. I don't know. I, I don't um I won't be doing that often. I may do some if I juice again or do like a like a juiced cleanse or not even a cleanse necessarily or a detox, just you know, maybe twice or two days out of the month at the end of the month or the beginning, just do a um some kind of juice uh and only and no food and and just a lot of water then I can handle that because I don't have to drink a whole gallon of it to to do that and I think it still does your body good to to help purify and, and it really get your I mean water really you know God gave us water for a reason and um you can get you can go a long way with some water I will say that but I wanted to show y'all this I bought this um sumo mandarin orange I bought a couple of them right the day that I the day before I started the juice detox so I didn't even get to try it my mom tried them and she was saying how they were so sweet and so good and then she's like oh those were some good um good oranges so at least sumo I guess it's shaped like a little sumo wrestler I don't know why they call it that but I've never tried it before um so 
I'm going to have some of this today. Not all of it, because it still is a lot of sugar, even though it's fruit. You have to watch that, too. Because um, I'll tell you where my sugar will be in my coffee. I don't put sugar in my coffee, but I do uh, a tablespoon of cream, and it's flavored, and it's it's good, and I'm not, I'm not giving it up. There's some things you just know you're not going to give up. Unless they tell me I'm allergic to it and I can't have it, I'm a convulse or something like that. I'm, I ain't giving it up. Um, I'm gonna save the rest of this orange for my my fruit bandits, my little kiddos. This is a lot of fruit actually. Now that I'm looking at it, but I'm gonna start the day with this and my water, and I'm trying to decide between hot tea or coffee. My mind is telling me coffee. Um. But I may even do the, you know, I try to, I don't try to stay away from caffeine. Let me not tell that lie. I try to limit uh, how much caffeine I, I take in. I only do one cup a day, so I don't, I don't drink coffee all day. That's my, my one thing, and it just tastes so good. And then my tea is just so soothing and relaxing. I don't know what y'all think, coffee or tea. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I got some time to decide. I can't wait to try this. Um, right here i want to drink a little bit more water before i eat anything so i'm not going to try it right now i might post a picture later but that's my plate for um the first meal of like maybe six i just i nosh all day I just eat small meals um little things you know some cashews that's my weakness that's my snack go-to snack so i'll probably have some whole cashews later uh, but i don't think i'm going to eat any meat today um or even any like seafood or anything like that. I think I'm gonna just kind of stick with seeing what this the end result of this detox is doing. Because once you do something like that, or you do like a reset or a cleanse or a detox, then the goal is to to continue to make healthy choices or wise choices with your meals. So that means that I'm not going to if the kids say they want you know. We get one eat out day of, you know, just me driving through, going through a drive through because that gives me a break. So if they want something that's fried or fast, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make, you know, choices like, okay, let me just watch this and just see. I really wanted to see the bloat, some of the bloat go down because I felt so, I just felt heavy and sluggish. Um, and it could be the weather too, and it could be the fact that it's cold outside. So y'all know, I told y'all, I don't, I don't really run like it's, it was 27 degrees. I don't do that. I don't run outside. I don't walk when it's cold and I'm uncomfortable. It has to be at a minimum, at least be at least 45 degrees for me to go out there. And, and when it hits 45, I'll go but until then. So I've been doing just my workouts at home and trying to do my stretching and, and everything else to supplement the fact that I'm not hitting the pavement like I normally do. And that could be why I'm feeling a little sluggish and a little heavier, but I do have the energy today, uh, which is surprising because I thought I would be tired. I don't have a headache. I had a headache the first day, um, but I don't even, it could have been sinuses or it could have been that I didn't have any caffeine. Uh, but the second day, no headache. And today there's no headache. I'm not even hungry. Look at my little time i know i know i'm i'm i know i'm going uh but we'll see i'm gonna keep you updated over like the next few days to see if i i notice um a you know more differences because i don't think a two-day detox is just that two days i do think you have to continue uh some type of clean eating regimen to, to realize the full benefits of what you just put your body through. And for me to do that for 48 hours, I'm definitely not going to sabotage it by, you know, going back and having whatever. I won't even fry my fish on Friday. Yeah. I really should have planned this out differently. <laughs> But I'm not, I'm just going to probably steam something um, or saute something, but I'm not going to fry my fish. That's tough. And um, and that's a sacrifice for me. 
Uh, but I'm just going to just see what happens and see how my body responds to the reset. And I'm going to get back on the real, the real gallon, the gallon that I like. My, um, my gallon jug here. I'm all ready. I need to get going to fill this up so I can empty it. And um, so amazing how, how much easier it is to just drink water. Um, and I highly encourage that, man. A gallon of water, it, it helps, you know, even, you just, it just helps me. Um, it just gives me the energy. I put lemons in it just because I love, you know, I put cucumbers or sometimes I'll drop some blueberries in there or some mint leaves, whatever. And I, I flavor it just, you know, with whatever I have in the fridge. And it's just, it's good. So try that. If you're looking to really reset, reset with some good old water and, um, or incorporate that as much as you can. I know it's hard throughout the day, especially if you're in an office and you have to, you know, get up and go to the bathroom a lot, but your, your body is really like thanking you when you hydrate it, you know, in, in a healthy way. All right, that's it, y'all. I'm off the detox. I'm I'm in a good mood. I'm in a great mood, actually. And I have energy. Um, I will get my weight again. I did last night. Um, I started at 139.2. Last night, it was 135, I think, on the dot. So that was four pounds of what I'm assuming and hoping was a lot of bloat and water weight. Um, and I'm hoping to see, I'm hoping to see all this get snatched back with, with hard work and eating right. Um, but, uh, but I, I did notice that four pounds, uh, there, and I don't know what it'll be today, but I'm just going to continue to track it and, and see what happens and keep you posted. Holla at me. If you want to do this or you're doing a challenge or you're doing a juice detox or some type of juice cleanse program, um let me know how it's going uh i would love to to hear your experience and what you're doing maybe i did something wrong but it wasn't a whole lot of what i thought it would be and i'm like when is that gonna kick in maybe maybe it's coming i don't know um i was just peeing a lot a whole lot but not much else so um I don't know. Maybe I maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. I I'm not doing it again though. So we we will never know. <laughs> All right, y'all. Be good. Talk to you later.